<clears throat> hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to rip Super Nintendo samples. So first you're going to want to go to this website called snesmusic.org. Now, in the end of search the game, you have to click one of these, or you can click companies, choose the company you, you, want, you want to rip uh, that, that made the kind of game that you want to rip the samples from. Like in this case, let's say, for example, Capcom or Konami, which um, which is right here. one of them. I just put is right here. And, and then go to the game that you, you want to rip samples from, and then click Download SBC Soundtrack. Now, when you get to this part, don't click Save Yet. You're going to want to put .rar so it's easier to open. And then you'll need 7-Zip File Manager to, do to, to, to double-click that. And you're going to want to open it with that program. I will put the link below in the, in the description to, to, to get that program. So, and so when so when you um, and extract the SPC, you're going to want to drag the SPC. In this case, let's say um, let's say Buffalo for example, drag it to SPC to it, which I will put a link below in the description for as well. And then. You're gonna, you're, you'll get an IT file, or in this case, so you'll have to open it with a program called OpenMPT. I will put the link below in the description for that, so you guys can uh, use that. So, and now I'm going to show how well it ripped. So yeah, now to get to the samples, you're going to want to click the plus sign near the samples folder if, if it's there. If it's not there, then it didn't rip very well. Now keep in mind that not every SPC will, will have all the samples that, that you'd hear. Some of them may not, may not be opened properly or anything like that, but yeah. And then, so now you're going to go, going to go through the samples that you'll want to rip. Now be sure... Be sure to, you can also change the name as well, but so by going to file here and renaming it the kind of sample it is. And while there is a name there, it won't show as this as this name when you save it. Wait a second, guys. Hold on, I'm recording. <clears throat> so in this case, you're going to want to... Um, Click a sample, or select a sample that represents the number between this. If you see SPC to it IT sample, that's the, that's the sample that was used in the uh, track. So you're going to want to go to click here, save it as a w as a dot wav. If you want to, if you're going to if you're going to save save it up at, for um, to use in um uh, as a sample in FL Studio or make a sound file out of it in Polyphone. Which um, I will also put a link below the description. Then you're going to name it what it is. In this case, I am not going to save it because I already have a Mega Man X3 sound font made out of samples that I yeah, made out of samples. But anyway, guys. So yeah, so yeah. Be sure to be sure to make sure that it actually works. Because if it doesn't work, then you can't rip it well. In this case, I'm going to get rid of this because I already have the sample. I just needed some organ sample. Organ. Or organ, organ, uh, I for, I organ, or yeah, I think it should be organ. But yeah, guys. So um, did it work for you guys? In this case, let me know in the description if it helped for you guys. If it was helpful, I'm very glad. But anyway, guys, see you next time. Peace. Oh, by the way, um, to make it easier for yourself, you're going to want to um, to um. To open uh, an SPC renamer, drag these files to the program and and be sure to rename them. In this case, I already did that, so I'm not going to demonstrate it. But anyway, guys, see you next time. Peace. <laughs>